In the last video, we looked at solving linear second order differential equations with constant coefficients by using what we call the auxiliary or characteristic equation. That was of the form am squared plus bm plus c is equal to zero. And we were looking at particular cases when b squared minus 4ac was greater than zero. So we had distinct real roots. So what we're going to do, we're going to apply it here. We've got three d2y by dx squared plus 7dy dx plus 2y is equal to zero. So writing the auxiliary equation, we can write 3m squared plus 7m plus 2 is equal to zero. That looks like it'll factor. What are we going to have? 3m plus 1 and then m plus 2 is equal to zero. So m will be equal to negative 1 third or m will be equal to negative 2. We can now write the general solution of the differential equation as y is equal to ae to the minus 2x plus be to the minus 1 third x where a and b are arbitrary constants. If that's made no sense at all, please do check the last video. So there we go, nice and straightforward, that's all we need to do. So here's your general solution, y is equal to ae to the negative 2x plus be to the negative 1 third x. Let's take this case now, and we know that the general form of these differential equations with constant coefficients can be written as a d2y by dx squared plus b dy dx plus cy is equal to zero. And we saw that the characteristic or auxiliary equation as a result was am squared plus bm plus c was equal to zero. In this case, what we've got here now is m squared plus 5m. We've got no c term, which is no bother. We're still going to get distinct real roots. So what we can do is take m squared plus 5m. We've got no c value. You can see that there's no y in this right here. So m squared plus 5m is equal to 0. Factoring m, m plus 5 is equal to 0. So we can say m is going to be equal to 0 or m is going to be equal to minus 5. We can now write this in the form y is equal to ae to the 0x plus be to the minus 5x. We know e to the 0 is 1, so the general solution will be a plus be to the minus 5x, where a and b are arbitrary constants. So nice and straightforward, we just have to understand e to the 0 is just going to give us 1. So we get a plus be to the minus 5x. In the next few videos, we'll look when we have um, a uh, repeated route, and then we'll look at some complex routes.